All right. Okay. Today we are back with an Angelina Jordan reaction video. We have not listened to Angelina Jordan in weeks. It's been a, a very long time. It's been a long time. The people are getting restless. They want more Angelina Jordan. And I think they are going to like what we have in store today. I think so too. Jared, a lot of people have recently commented in and told us that Angelina Jordan released a new song. Yeah. The song is called Suspicious Minds and it's by Elvis. And we didn't grow up listening to a lot of Elvis. No. So we're not too familiar with him, but our grandma used to play a lot of Elvis in the car and music from that era. Yeah. So I remember her singing some Elvis, but I couldn't tell you any of his specific songs. Yes. I am wondering though, if this cover and the timing of it uh, has anything to do with the new Elvis movie? I think so. Or biopic or whatever it is uh, yeah. that was recently released. I think a few people have said that oh, to okay. us. So first, Jared, let's just search up Elvis, learn a little bit about his background, and then we'll listen to his original version of the song. Sounds good. Okay, so Elvis Aaron Presley is born in 1935. He died in 1977. Hmm. So that would have made him 42? I think so. 42 years old. Wow. Often known simply as Elvis, was an American singer and actor. Dubbed the king of rock and roll, he is regarded as one of the most significant cultural figures of the 20th century. Right. You don't grow up and not have heard Elvis's name. Yes. And just reading that sentence, Jordan, it makes me again feel like we've been living under a rock our entire lives. When Elvis is being regarded as one of the most significant cultural figures of the 20th century. Mm. And it's tough for us to even name one Elvis song. Mm. Can you name one Elvis song? Suspicious Minds. Another one. Damn. Elvis. <laughs> crazy, I, I right? Can't, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. But again, that's why we created this YouTube channel. But more specifically, that's why we go to Angela Jordan. Yes. For a musical education. Yes. Jared, because we, we learned over and over any song or cover or rendition that we listen to of hers, we learned something. Yes. So this is going to be one of those times. One thing I do know about Elvis is that he was infamous or maybe famous. I don't know if famous or infamous yeah. for shaking his hips. Ah, right. Okay. It was very new for that time. I, I remember learning that for shaking his hips, shaking his hips, legs on hips? TV. I think it was his hips, Interesting. like his lower body. Ah, it says right here. It says his energized interpretations of songs and sexually provocative performance style mm. combined with a singularly potent mix of influences across color lines during a transformative era in race relations led him to both great success and initial controversy. Ah, very interesting. So it was very provocative the way he performed. Yeah. So really quickly, if we can just dig a little deeper into the history of Elvis and race relations. Okay. I want to know the, the impact that Elvis had. Okay. Ah, interesting. Okay. So it says that his music was heavily influenced by African-American blues, mm. Christian gospel, and Southern country. Mm. In a list of the greatest English language singers, as compiled by Q Magazine, Presley was ranked first and second in the list of greatest singers of the 20th century by BBC Radio. Some people claim that Presley created a whole new style of music. It wasn't black. It wasn't white wasn't pop, or wasn't country. It was different. Interesting. He gave teens music to grow up with and listen to, as most singers in his time created music geared for adults. Okay, so when they say that Elvis sort of broke that color barrier, he made music for all people. Mm, but specifically 
It says he gave teens yeah. music to grow up with and listen to. Yeah. Okay. So Elvis was different. So Jared, last thing we're going to look up is Suspicious Minds. Okay. So Suspicious Minds is a 1968 song written and first recorded by American songwriter Mark James. After this recording failed commercially, it was cut by Elvis Presley with producer Chips Moman, becoming a number one song in 1969 and one of the most memorable hits of Presley's career. Wow. So we should have heard this song before. If we weren't under our rocks. Right. And it also says that it was his 18th and last number one single in the United States. Wow. So Jared, let's listen to it, man. Let's listen to Elvis Suspicious Minds and see why it was a number one song in 1969. Let's go. Okay. So the video we're going to watch comes from a performance of his in Las Vegas in 1970. Yep. So here we go. <laughs> We're caught in a trap. I can't walk out because I love you too much, baby. Why can't you see oh, 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 what you do to me? Oh, 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 when you don't believe a word I'm saying We can't go on together With suspicious minds And we can't build our dreams On suspicious minds So if an old friend I know Shove it up your nose Just by to say hello would I still see suspicion in your eyes? Here we go again, oh, asking where I've been. You can't see the tears of real life crying. We can't go on together with suspicious minds. Mm. Okay. I was not expecting that. Uh -uh. Why can't you see whoa, what you're doing to me whoa, when you don't believe a word I say? Oh, don't you know? Oh, I can't walk because I love you too much. <laughs> <laughs> okay we're halfway through the performance <laughs> like you said jared i was not expecting that part no. where he hit the floor no that was the that was the uh the soul that was the breakdown that was the gospel what did what did it say about him being his own 
genre, yes, right? Yes, yes. Started out rock, right? That's, that's rock, I think. Then he hit us with complete, what we would call today R&B, R&B rhythm and blues. Yep. And brought it right back to the, to the rock. Yes. And just, just is doing his own thing up there. And Jordan, I, I constantly bring it back to this, but I, I have to. Um, we listened to Angelina Jordan's performance of Bohemian Rhapsody. Yes. Any artist that, as you just mentioned, mixes many different genres and types of music together, it reminds me of Bohemian Rhapsody, mm. right? It's a rap city. It's a rap city. Well, don't you know I'm caught in a trap? I can't walk out because I love <laughs> the- did he just blow his hair? He blew up? his hair and he is charming this woman right now. Bring it back a couple seconds. Doug, <laughs> <The> look. <laughs> it's the eyes. It's the look. It's the charisma. It's the charisma, but it's that like lackadaisical, I do whatever I want type of type of aura that he exudes. And walk out. <laughs> <because> I <laughs> you Wait, I don't know what that was. Dude, I don't want this to overshadow the reason we're here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's just finish this up. Uh, that was, he's playing games with it. He does whatever he wants. Yeah. Bring, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. bring it back. Maybe that was planned. Uh, maybe it was staged. <laughs> oh, he, he. I can't walk out because I love it too much. Bring, Bring it down. Bring it down. Woo! Oh. I can't walk out. A slight bass. Yeah. Bring it up. Because I love too much, man. Uh. Oh, don't you know? Woo! I can't walk. Because I love too much. Caught in a trap. I can't walk out. Because I love. Too much, baby. Oh, don't you know? Holy! <laughs> he doesn't end. I can't walk Was that our first time ever hearing Elvis story? <laughs> I think that was our first, that was my first ever full song that I've heard from Elvis. That was exactly what we had just read. Yeah. If there's one word to describe it, it's different. Different. It's completely different. Unique. 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 How did this performance make you feel? It was like, it was a rhapsody. 
It was a rap city. That's what it made me feel. That just never ending. You don't know when he's going to end. Very unpredictable. Like that drop down to like the rhythm and blues, the R&B was my favorite part. I know that was your favorite part. Yeah. Uh, didn't know what to expect, but very like, very charming and like, he had control up there. He was in control of the crowd, of the backup singers, the choir, the chorus. He was dominating the stage. That's what it made me feel. This song made me feel exhausted, Jordan. <laughs> I felt like I was stuck in a loop. Mm, I see. For 10 minutes. I don't know how long this song was. It was this, six minutes long. This so, performance. Yeah. I felt like this was never going to end. Mm. Did you want it to end? I don't know. Right? Uh, when he dropped low. Look, yeah. look. This yeah. is what it this is what it was. In the beginning, all the way up until the point until he dropped low yeah. and sang that soul, I was like, you know, if he's going to just do the the high energy rock and roll the entire time, we may as well end it now. But once he dropped low, Jarn, hook, line, and sinker, mm. he got me. Mm. And once he brought it back up, I was bopping my head. Right, right. I That's couldn't exactly. stop because he, he, he grabbed me and I didn't want the song to end. But look, but look, not only did, it was it like a, a, a hook, line, and sinker? Is that what it's called? I don't know. I'm just using that <laughs> term. I don't even know what it means. Not only was it that, by him doing that, it made the rest of the song sound completely different than the yes. beginning portion. Yes. Right? It made it actually sound better. Wait yeah. a minute. Like, oh, this is the same thing that he was doing in the beginning? <laughs> That's such a unique uh, technique. Yes. I don't know what the original song sounds like. I imagine that piece is in there. But yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. And it felt like he embodied the lyrics. Mm, yeah. Caught in a trap. Mm. I think he said that, right? Caught in a trap. I thought he had said trance during that mm. portion. And I said, Elvis is in a trance right now. Hmm. This man's in a trance, Jordan. The way he's convulsing. Yeah. <laughs> The heavy breathing into the microphone. Yeah. Like that was obviously on purpose, but it was like, yeah, he was trying to make you feel what he's singing. Yes. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. But it, but when he said caught in a trap, I'm like, Elvis, you're, you trapped us. <laughs> you trapped us. And as you said, he's in control. Yeah. He's in control of when this song ends. He's uh, in control of when we stop feeling like it'll never end. Huh? I don't know. We could... We could analyze this song yeah. for hours. Yeah. But the reason we listen to it is because of Angelina Jordan. You ready for her version? I am so curious as to what she's going to do with this. Well, you know she's going to do something, Jerry. Yeah. Something meaningful. Yes. Something to pay respect to Elvis. Yes. As she always does. Yes. Right? So let's get to her version, Jared. Let's go. Her rendition. Just before we start her version, some people left some comments about it, letting us know that it's brilliant, letting us know that it's pure magic, and letting us know that we're going to be shocked mm. at how big she got. Wow. And mind you, this is an Angelina Jordan that we have not seen yet, Jordan. We this have is not. the most recent performance by Angelina Jordan mm -hmm. that we have seen. 16 years old. 16 years old, at her best right now. Wildner Art Elizabeth told us that please see her Elvis cover, the best ever. Mm. She said this cover's the best ever. Wow. Anita Herbert wrote in and said, her new Elvis cover, Suspicious Minds, is brilliant and very topical with the movie coming out. Mm -hmm. And the movie already came out. It right? came out and I've heard from people that it was an amazing movie. Wow. And that it's a must see. Jared, it feels like every time we listen to her, yeah, there's a movie connected with a previous artist that we need to see. Ah. You had the one about Queen, right? Ah, uh, yep. Bohemian Rhapsody. You had the one about Billie Holiday. 
Mm-hmm. Right? What was that? The people or the United States for Spilly Holiday? I think so. And now we have Elvis. Gotcha. Which I think it's just titled Elvis. Yeah. One last comment, and then we will listen to Angelina Jordan's version. Elmer Winkler says, gentlemen, Angelina Jordan has a few news. Her last music video was Suspicious Minds by Elvis. It was her last video as a non-professional. Interesting. Oh, meaning, what's that mean? As a non-professional, meaning she's about to enter into her professional career? Record label deal, perhaps, or possibly. He says, now as a professional singer slash vocalist, she tours Norway, Bohemian Rhapsody, and I have nothing at the last show at Aslan Pa Grensen. So she's touring Norway. Okay. And a whole lot of songs at Sand Du Jour. Never saw Angelina so happy. She even cried happy tears. Gents, greetings to your sister and let the whole family stay safe and sound. Elmer from Germany. Elmer, appreciate you and appreciate this information. Yeah. So now she's a professional. This was her last music video as a non-professional. Very interesting. And I've seen other people mention that as well. Ah, so we are about to enter into a new era for Angelina Jordan. It appears so. And this here is the ending of an era. Yeah. All right. So this is Angelina Jordan's cover or rendition of Suspicious Minds by Elvis Presley. And it's a music video. Mm, here we go. It's a movie. Hmm. Uh oh. Oh, she's going to play the guitar. Come on now. It's 
Don't let a good thing die Absolutely remarkable. Hmm. As is, agree? as is everything she does. <laughs> yeah. I mean, very powerful voice. Her voice is so much more powerful. Yes. Like, than younger Angelina Jordan. Yeah. And I don't mean powerful and like it blows you away. It's much more mature, mature, much more grounded in, in yes. like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Controlled. Control. Yeah, I, I guess so. I think her maturity has allowed her to develop so much control over her voice. Mm. Where now, Jordan, she can sing or cover any song on this planet and make it Angelina Jordan's song. Yeah, this one was very, very interesting. I feel like it was different than every other song we heard from hers. Really? I got the feeling it was very different. This gave me vibes of Angelina Jordan singing Bohemian Rhapsody. Really? Yes. I, I didn't get that feeling because I felt like in this, she did not exceed. She didn't, we just watched Elvis's performance, right? Yep. She didn't bring us up, up, but she didn't bring us low low either she stayed about right here this entire time so it puts you in sort of a trance that elvis put us in but a different type of trance and i think that was entirely intentional i think so too right i do think so exactly yeah. completely different feel yeah. from elvis's at least performance that we watched oh yeah you're right about that because angelina jordan has the ability to go high yeah she has the ability to go low yeah she stayed right in the middle in this song yeah um i said this way back when jordan uh that angelina jordan created her own genre mm -hmm. called the angel genre yep and this song may have just cemented that for me i see that because that's probably the best explanation for it yes because mm -hmm. this song did not sound anything like what we just heard from elvis at all and it didn't it almost didn't even sound r&b-ish mm. when she there was one part where she was singing and i thought of shania twain mm. yes our mom used to play bits and pieces of shania twain as we were kids yeah it, it was like borderline country music that she was incorporating there yes you know what i mean beautiful very rich strong voice yet yeah. so soothing yeah the angel genre that's what we just listened to yes because and look jordan i say the angel genre because angelina jordan has so many signature sounds mm -hmm. that she incorporates them into just about every cover and original song that she does the signature vocal fry yep the signature angelina jordan sound i love when she mm, when she whatever it's called when she mms mmms yeah you know what i'm talking about i think so yeah like when you say mm. yeah. yeah like those little riffs that yeah. only she can do yes like when she's transitioning into another line yes i don't know how to explain it but it's those those riffs that feel heavenly the angel genre man yeah she's obviously it's very elvis inspired the music yeah. video we are missing out on the meanings of all the props and mm. the guitar even uh maybe her, the way she's dressed but without a doubt elvis inspired yeah i want the people 
watching this. I want our viewers to let us know about this music video and kind of break it down for us because that'd be helpful. I don't, I'm not going to be able to pick up on what's going on in the music video, but yeah, what I want to do just real quick is listen to the part where Elvis broke it down to the R&B and then listen to Angelina Jordan sing that same exact part. Okay. So here we go. Angelina Jordan. Oh, little love survived. I dry the tears from your eyes. It's all a good thing died. Well, honey, you know I've never lied to you. Oh, yeah. For some reason, the second time is always yep. more powerful. We know that. Yep. What Angelina Jordan just did right there was drop to her knees without dropping to her knees. Hmm. Elvis dropped to his knees. Okay. And we were waiting for Angelina Jordan to also drop to her knees, right? And let that soulful emotion just show however uh, angelina jordan doesn't need to do that jordan she doesn't need to do what elvis did in order to tug on that string in your heart right she can do that standing up barefoot yeah jared it's always so interesting to me seeing her arrangements of these songs yes because it's completely different than many of the originals. Yeah. She makes it her own. And like you said, formulates it, arranges it, and places it in the angel genre. It's like a completely different vibe, but not to the point where you are getting in the way of the original or mm. changing it so much where it loses its meaning or feeling. She's still saying certain words in the same type of tone yeah but completely different feel which is always interesting to to see it how she does it oh yeah no i think you're spot on with the amount of care and respect yeah that she shows for each song that she covers always 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 yeah this was this was interesting hearing elvis for the first time thank you angelina jordan Guys, if there's anything that we missed in regards to her singing or the music video, please let us know in the comments down below. And I want to also know how many people have seen that Elvis movie and whether or not you recommend mm. it. But everybody, thank you so much for watching. We finally got to Angelina Jordan after a long time away from her. Yes. And hopefully we'll be coming back for more very soon so if you enjoyed the video make sure you give it a like leave a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to turn on those notifications but most importantly be kind and keep an open mind everybody peace we can go on together with suspicious minds and we can build our dreams on suspicious Mind. Oh, a little love survived I dry the tears from your eyes It's
on.